Okay, we're gonna do it. Oh my god, I just got an adrenaline rush. My name is Liz Kidder, and I'm a dreadlock artist. Happy New Year, fam! I freaking love New Year's. I love resolutions. I love the feeling of just a fresh start, a clean slate, reassessing, new goals, etc. This year, though, I feel like I need a little bit of a makeover. My hair is just... Look at those ends. So, you guys want to come along for the ride? I'm thinking I need to redo my color, tidy things up. I think I'm going to take some length off. Give myself a detox, like a deep cleanse treatment. Freshen up these extensions. Let's go. Okay, first of all, I've got all of these extra little extension pieces in for volume. They're just in with an elastic, but I'm gonna take these out because we're gonna color my hair. That's such a strong elastic, I can't break it, so we're gonna cut those. Okay, so these are what I call volume pieces. They're just like a double-ended mini dread with loose ends. And I had all of these in my hair, mostly spread throughout the top just to give me more volume. You can see how much like smaller my hair looks now. So these are reusable, this is human hair. I'm gonna put these back in later. So this is really my real hair now, other than just like a few little weird tails and stuff sticking out. Let's go take a before picture. This is the part that I've been debating on. A haircut. They're just getting kind of straggly down here. Ooh. I don't know. It just looks thin and, and pointless and it's like getting to that length that's really annoying. Annoying like when I roll around in bed, it's like stuck under me. Or when I sit on the toilet, I gotta make sure they're not in the toilet bowl. So I think I want to cut them. And then what I'll do, since I like the loose ends, is just add back in with extension hair some loose ends. But I'm just sad to cut them. You get like so attached, you know? Like this. This is my favorite dread with my bead on it. And like, am I gonna have to cut off all these like fun little bumps and stuff, you know? All right, I'm stalling. I gotta just do it. I gotta just do it. Oh, no. oh. I think like this. All right, I'm gonna leave this one, I think. That's a lot. Don't do this at home, by the way. I am a hairdresser, so I understand what's gonna happen here, but this is not how you cut hair. Okay, we're gonna do it. <gasps> oh my god, I just got an adrenaline rush. <gasps> ah! <laughs> this piggy didn't like that. Oh my god, I know it's really not that crazy, but... <sighs> well, that looks good. All right, let's match the other side, I guess. Do you want to see inside my dreads? Look at that. Focusing. That dark spot is not dirt, FYI. That is like my hair color because it didn't get colored all the way through. That doesn't look that dramatic, I get it, but. All right, I'm just gonna pick these out a little bit. It's my hair. It's just like, just cause the hair was all like this and then when I just cut straight across some of it, yeah, this like just comes out. 
Okay, let's just be lazy and do them all at the same time. All right, time to color. I've said it before, I'll say it a million times. Do not bleach your hair at home. This is what happens when you don't do shit to your hair. <laughs> My little baby dread. Feel the burn. Now we bake for 20 minutes. All right, let's see how this looks. <laughs> yes, I'm aware it is yellow and it does not look good. Trust the process. Toner always burns way worse than the bleach. Oh, my battery is gonna die. <laughs> So I did finish coloring my hair yesterday. Let me turn on the light so you can see. Oh, and it's not bad, actually. It's a little bit off at the top, a little bit grayish through here. Um, like just a little darker, ashier through that first couple of inches. So usually I would just leave that as it is and that the toner would just like fade out over the next couple of washes. But I wanted to do a deep cleanse anyway, which should help lighten that up a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Even it out a little bit. And also the deep cleanse, the detox treatment is going to help make sure that I got 100% of that color and bleach out of my hair. So let's turn my mood back on. Do a nice detox treatment. Okay, I turned the light back on so you could see the water, the color, kind of dingy. Mostly, I think, just from my toner, because my hair should be squeaky for being clean. <laughs> Now that I am semi-dry, I'm gonna use some conditioning oil in my hair because it's just so dry from the bleach. This is really more meant for your scalp than your hair. I don't like recommend this to everyone on their hair, but if you have matured bleach dreads like mine that are getting super dry, once in a while, I'll do this. Like after I color my hair. and add in some loose ends with extension hair. I like full and flowy ends, which is kind of hard to do with your natural hair, especially if it's bleached. So I tend to do this once a year or so by just adding it to the bottom. I know it seems silly that I just like cut off all that length and now I'm adding some back in with extensions, but I hope you get why I'm doing it this way. And hey, if you have a better idea that I didn't think of, let me know because this is such a project. Also, I would typically cut and add hair to one dread at a time so that I could just do this over days or weeks or however long it took. 
but for video purposes, I just cut them all at once, which sort of forced me to get this done all at once, which was definitely a pain. Good morning again. This has turned into a multi-day project. <laughs> it's actually snowing out today. Why am I in the kitchen, you ask? It is a lot easier to get the right angle and to be able to use tension <laughs> if I do this on the refrigerator. <laughs> What am I doing? Cutting my hair, adding extensions, cutting the extensions, I know. Can you see how dark that is inside? That's because it was like inside the dread when I colored my hair, so it didn't get the hair color as evenly. That is lint. <laughs> Let's see. I just want to pick it out for you so you can see. Fuck. Oh, that's gross. But I swear it's clean lint. It's just black lint for my clothes. like I'm doing much in the big picture but just stuff like that it feels so good to just freshen freshen up the ends always just look so like when you first put them in because the hair is straight so I like to wet them by the way I'm sorry that you guys have to keep looking at this I don't really know what happened Is it weird to eat sushi at 11 in the morning while I'm still drinking coffee? <laughs> All right, for the final touches, I don't really crochet my roots, but these front three, especially right now, bother me when they get a little frizzy, so we're just gonna Use a little bit of locking powder. Quick little root roll. <laughs> a little bit of my tightening spray. Because it smells so good. Mmm. And... I'm gonna stick these in, which is gonna help me with this color situation because I know my toner still needs to fade out some more. So this will kind of blend it out and break it up and put my volume back. So all I do with these is fold it around the base. These are like super duty, strong elastics that I got from Walmart. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of these in and then we're gonna have a final reveal. And here's the final look. I'm laughing because I know you guys probably don't think it looks that different. <laughs> but to me it is, okay. First of all, the color is a big change. That's the thing I like the least about this whole makeover right now. Um, it's just way too ashy still, but that's honestly how it always is. I just usually don't make videos immediately after I color. So yeah, it's just gonna take some time for that to rinse out. I'm surprised actually that the um, detox didn't lighten it more, but 
it's fine. I know it'll be fine once it fades out a little bit. And also, I don't really like myself blonde to the scalp. I prefer a little bit of roots. So like two weeks from now is when it's gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Anyways, so that was one of the big changes. And then the biggest change really is this. This feels different for me. I know you guys are probably like, huh? But um, <laughs> it was like super weird. I cut and then I added and then I cut again. But I was just trying to get this like fuller to the bottom, almost choppy look. And so I don't even know if I'm short. I feel like I'm a little shorter than I was, but just fuller down here. I guess we'll have to see in the before and after photo. I probably should have shown it from the back before we did everything, but... I am really loving my new year look and I feel like my new year is off to a great start. <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome day, an awesome new year, and also I plan to <laughs> put out a new video every Sunday on this channel. That is my new year's resolution. So if you're not subscribed yet, please do, and I'll see you back here next week, I hope. <laughs>